You know when um, those elders that go before you set up a system. This is this is when Jesus was talking about the good shepherd. I think it's John chapter ten or John chapter fifteen. Whenever we were talking about Jesus being the good shepherd. And in the scripture, he said, all those who came before him were robbers and thieves. They was falsehood. I'm, I'm saying this because those who are traumatized, those who the devil has been trapping, binding, that is caused by those in the church judging, murmuring, and very cursing. Them, them, them same ones, those in the church, they forgot that God knows their deep, dark secrets too. They keep hiding, trying to build a reputation. I want y'all to understand that those that came before you, they falsehood. If they not speaking the gospel from me to met where they at, you feel me? Like they keep talking about smoking and drinking again. Here we go. Didn't I tell y'all don't do that? Smoking and drinking is for a specific reason. And the way you do it, it's a specific way. Well, I'm tired of these, bro. I, 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 I shut up, and then they brought it back up. And like I said, every time you bring it up, I'm going to bring it up. Because y'all not even doing it right. And the sad part is, you know you're not even doing it right. By judging people. Stop judging those who are smoking and drinking because God sent me to those exact people because y'all refuse to go to them. And they refuse to be around y'all because they know you hypocrite. From the heart. Stop being hypocrite, bro. Stop. If you don't smoke and drink, okay, don't do it. But don't be telling other people not to do it when they already been traumatized by the evil at this world. All you doing is judging them. Discouraging them from coming near you. And you giving me more work to do, fam. Didn't I say stop doing that, bro? Y'all know who I'm talking to. Those fake preachers and prophets. Stop talking about marijuana. Where's that in the Holy Bible? Yeah, I'm getting, you can kindle the fire with me, bro. Stop playing with me, fam. Because you watch me. Save those drunk people. Meet them where they at. And you know what happened? They got saved. They believed in Jesus just because I was there where they at. While you sitting in your four walls talking shit, or they smoking and drinking, we not helping them. Make sure you don't help them. But you allow them faggots and dykes around and you shake hands with when no problem. Bishop John, Brother Battles, Brother Young, y'all are putting on the fake reputation, bro. You can't, you can't just... You can't diss the work I went out to do that y'all refuse to do. Stop talking about marijuana and alcohol. Or we gonna fight, bitch. I'm not playing with y'all, man. Because y'all watch me go be with these people while you talk shit about it. I'm the one meeting them where they at. Yeah, them crackheads. Them, them, them ones that be on Philadelphia. Y'all got a whole street. You got a whole street of people who just need your love and care. Who on that? Okay, because y'all don't see the demons getting. Because you got demons too. And they judge. They murmur. They talk under their breath. Then they fake and put it in the public. Did you not see what the Pride Flag Church just went to? God burnt it down. He about to burn your church down again if you keep lying, bruh. 
discrediting the work I'm doing for that church, bruh. Man, I'm thick of y'all bullshit, bruh. Like, stop being fake, bruh. Like, stop making God's tree and God's plant. You don't know what to do with the problem. His creation is not the problem. How y'all perceive and what you do with it, how you do it, is the problem. And for y'all to sit up there and act like the one is not doing the work y'all supposed to be doing, ooh, we gonna fight, bro. I don't care if your name Bishop or Episcopal. You don't lie on the work God sent me to do that you refuse to do, fam. Like I said, y'all already messed it up with Russia. Now they ready to go to war with USA because you stopped me from going over there to meet my wife, huh? Y'all really be, man, y'all worse than the pride flag. Well, you worse than them. You just like them. Reprobate. Care about your little reputation and full walk. But forgot the people who put that work in. Right? To keep them full walks at. Like, God sent actual workers. Y'all call yourself working when you judging? No. Not if you judging the work that I'm doing that you refuse to do, that you are supposed to be doing in the first place. Y'all done made it clear you're not going to meet those crackheads, you're not going to meet those drunkards, but you're going to talk shit about them. And you call yourself the body of Christ. But yet you allow those faggots and dykes you rub off and rub hands with and act like they don't be on that just to keep your little reputation. You just like the scriptures say, whitewash tombs, bruh. You look good on the outside, barely that. Empty as fuck on the inside. I'm going all oh, because I told y'all stop bringing that up unless you're going to do something about it. If you're not meeting those who smoke and drink, shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Because all you're doing is ignoring all those people God had me be blessed and deal with. They know, they know I smoke and drink, so all you're doing is lying on yourself, bro. Just stuck up, faggot, astounded. If not, man, y'all out here, man. man we, we gonna go back and forth, bro, because you lying. You lying on me, bro. And when you lie on me, yet you spy on me without my consent, just because you noticed I was the member for a while. If you don't want me as a member, say that to my face, loud and clear, like I'm standing to yours. Stop talking about smoking and drinking unless you're going to meet them where they at, bro. And stop having them faggots and dykes all in your ear confusing you with me and you. Because I know you watch me and pretend like you don't. Fuck you keep watching me for? And try to get some little points and try to twist the shit. Man. Y'all weak, bro. Terrible, man. I just wish all that you was talking shit about me about, I wish you said it to my face. Because you know I would say it to yours. With no problem. With no problem. And another question. I need to know who you told to tell me to contact you. Because when I contacted you twice, you didn't respond. So you stirred me up, bro. I'm still waiting on that response, man. But yeah, you was supposed to give somebody my information to give you and call you. I do that. And still waiting on the response. Stop lingering. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me, bro. I left that church because I was okay with being faggots and dyke behind people's back, closing it up, molesting and raping them children up in that church. Brother Elijah had to tell me at the retreat, bro. From that day forward, I wasn't looking back. Because I know it was worse stuff than that that y'all kept doing and covering it up. Oh, he ain't coming back for what, bro? I don't do shit like that and pretend like I'm I'm glorifying God, bro. Like, what? 
God bless me to go to the broken hobby. Those who are bound by habits and hobbies you don't like. Well, uh, nothing letting that money go to their head, man. You took that money, though. But refuse to go meet them where they at. Not, not, not congratulating the, the work I'm doing, you refuse to do. The only thing God is telling me, bro, y'all need to stop faking and fighting, bro. And every time you bring up marijuana, which is not in the Holy Bible, Alcohol, which is wine. You're supposed to use the gladness of the heart. Now, if they go up half that, help them. Yeah, because cause, y'all forget, bro. All that, how you was talking about how uh, people be inebriated and passing out when they drink. I was the one there with them. I was there with them, helping them out, make sure they got home. The next day, they told me thank you. I don't, don't want to be drinking like that. I was like, that's not, don't blame that on God's wine, okay? Don't blame that on God's herbal plant, okay? You blaming on you overdoing it and I know what you was doing, okay? Because last I checked, a lot of divorces come from y'all not smoking and drinking together when you don't feel like dealing with each other. But you, you quick to break up soberly. Pathetic. We Y'all need to stop living the opposite of the truth, man. Y'all really do, man. He had me leave for a reason because he saw how pathetic y'all was hating on how it was exceeding past your bullshit standard. It's not even a standard, man. You took what I was doing, act like you didn't see what I was doing and try to make it something. Man, you, you, you pride flag the fuck out that shit, man. Well, because I'm trying to um, move on, and you keep making the work harder. You know damn well you're not doing nothing, bitch. Not, well, you know you watching me do the work, well, and you pretending like you're doing something, bitch. See, this is the part where I know man get mad when he don't get the blessings of his hands. Yeah, y'all, cause y'all been staying at uh, all my life, man. The work of man's hand. God don't care about that if your heart evil is fat. Cleanse your heart, man. Cleanse your heart. Cleanse your heart. Those up in that church, hypocrites, man. All you doing is setting up a standard that you're not going to meet those. You're not going to go out and preach your God. You're going to stay in your little four walls. Jericho, Jericho is going to get burnt down, bro. Again. Uh, we, lost, we lost the first jam because he knew there was faggots and dyke in the congregation. He knew that. He knew that. When you discredit me doing the work of going to those who smoke and drink, you fuck up yourself, man. There wouldn't be no church if it wasn't for the work God blessed me to go and meet and do with those you talk about, you judge before you even get to meet. You don't meet them where they're at. You talk shit, and I got to come and clean that up. Well, again. <laughs> Man. And then just how I know they too happy with the way they doing shit, not getting there with Thinking they going somewhere, like. Um, well, to those who do smoke and drink, i meet you where you at, bro. I, that's all I've been doing my whole life, man. I, I was surrounded by people who smoke and drink, bro. 
that didn't stop them from being intelligent. It might have slowed them down for a minute, but that didn't stop them from being smart, intelligent, and trying to reach that goal. Because the goal is to love on them where they're at. That's what a Christian do. Meet you where you at. You ever heard the parable of the Good Samaritan? You know who you was? You was that priest that walked past that man that was hurting. He didn't look a certain way for you to get your little glory out of it, so you walked past him. I'm that Good Samaritan that went to them. Oh, you ain't, you all right, bro? You make love on them. Give them a place to stay. Show them the love of God. Not judge them because they smoke marijuana, which is not true. It's a harbor. It's God's plant. The tree of life you refuse to eat, but you dying on it because you're not partaking of it. I told y'all that, bro. Man, y'all be out here lying, bro. Man, don't let. You like you build yourself a reputation when Jesus had no reputation. He took the form of a servant. You know what that means? He wasn't no boss telling people don't smoke and drink. He was serving them, meeting them where they at. Serving them. Serving them. Not judging them. What? Well, so they giving me more work to do, bro. So I mean, all those people I done seen in Philadelphia, on that street, not getting no love for me, y'all, because you judging them. So you, you better be perfect, man. Right? You better be perfect in all your doings. In all your doings. While you judging those people. Not meeting them where they at. <laughs> man, I bet, I bet if God would just take me to Philadelphia to that K Street. I know it's on K Street. Everybody strung out on drag. Because those in the church set it up that way. The devil is in the church. Okay? No, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised, man. That's, that's where he started. Okay? Molesting and raping children in the church. That's where he started. Okay? Taking, taking wine and taking the, her, the herbal plant, the secret of the herbs. Yeah, that's going to boost your give you the mutant to fight all the evil out here in this world that y'all refuse. <laughs> Wondering why you, you, you getting old quickly because you not hitting the herbal ooze. Hey. But yet you want to talk shit about those caught up in it. You, you still got to meet them where they at, bro. Or you know what's going to happen? They're going to come to you with war because you refuse to lie. Instead, you kept judging and judging and forgot the one, DJ, was doing the work out there, meeting them where they at. Yeah, I hang out with them. I've been doing it my whole life. While you and your little stuck-up bougie, faggot-ass dyke shit, talking shit about what I'm doing, what you supposed to be doing, bitch. I'm talking about all these bishops, including the front of the hot church ministry. I'm not playing with y'all, bro. You're not about to just have, take my tithe and your offering and act like I'm not doing the work y'all refuse to do. You're not about to do that, man. You already messed up not getting me that password to get to Russia and do my part. They need my love, not yours, because you ain't give love. You pretended like you did. Like I said, man, if you don't have a pure heart, do not go near these people, fam. Don't, fam. Talking about you went overseas, and they kept saying, you know we're a Muslim nation, right? Well, all you had to do, Bishop, was love on them right there. Love on them. You ain't have to talk about, oh, we wasting time arguing about who. You didn't love on them, bro. This was you there. You, you stepped up on your little step and looked down on them. See, if I'm in the middle 
Because D.C. is a Muslim nation, too. It's not Christian. It's pretending Christians. Because I know because God blessed me to do the work with all religions. It, man, you fucking up, man. I still love you, but you fucking up, man. I, and I'm going to keep telling you, every time you bring out smoking and drinking, I'm going to kind of punch you, spiritually taking care of the nuts. Y'all too comfortable in your full rush, bro. And let the warning from the church in Massachusetts pride flag be a warning to the church from the hot church ministry. I'm not playing with y'all, bro. I'm not. I watch y'all be real fake for my 39 years of living, bro. I watch y'all put on this front. Give me a hard time. And, I, and God still blessed me to fight up all that. And I'm here today because of that fight. That y'all refuse to go out and fight. So you mean to tell me God bless you to go all over the world just for you to talk about, oh, we wasting time if you ain't going to do it my way. In your way, it's not the right way. Because you judging while I'm helping them right where they at. I'm meeting them right where they at. Okay? You lowest your standard when you just instead of meeting them where they at. Talking about we don't smoke and drink. Yeah, but you allowed them faggots and dice to be around you pretending like y'all are gay when I mean, you're not. That's why I left. Okay? You forgot when Brother Elijah told me the shit he went through and held it in for how many years Y'all doing worse evil shit than that. Like I said, those who smoke and drink, it's not the problem. Those who don't do it is the problem. Y'all pure evil, bruh. Just because you don't do it don't give you the right to judge those who do do it. Like I said, those who do do it, it's stopping them from kicking your ass. It's your fake hip hypocrisy, bruh. Stop blaming your way of doing things on God's creation. God's creation is not the problem. How you use it is the problem. I'm speaking up now because they denied the children I was dedicating. <laughs> and you still doing that damn ass shit, bro. All I know is those two you got spying on me. Like, cause I'm about to go get my smoking drink. And I remember you, you threatening me. All you doing is standing, you spying on me, bro. And you got the police wait, waiting for me to come out and arrest me. They put their hands on me, I'm coming out to you and your family. Like you came out to mine behind my back, bro. I'm coming out to you like you came out to me and mine, man behind my back. I don't care if you don't like it. You shouldn't have threatened me. You shouldn't have told me no behind my back. And for you to keep sitting up there acting like I'm not going to do the job you supposed to be doing, you fucking up. And it's the part where I say publicly cut me off if you di if you don't like me smoking and drinking. But at least I meet those where they at while you talking shit. In Jesus' name. Amen. We done all loud in a couple of hours. Cut. Right in the next. Right.